Okay, today I'm going to tackle, um, well, not tackle, but I'm going to show you how I cut out my bodies. Um, I cut my bodies out before I paint um, because I'm afraid of ruining the paint job by trying to cut it afterwards and then making modifications when I make the wrong cut or whatever. So I like to do it, you know, some people like to do it after the paint, and some people like to do it before. There's no, there's no real wrong or right way to do it, it's really a matter of preference. So what I first do is I will outline, you know, make sure that your body has, you know, the clear plastic on it because the lines are so hard to see, um, you know, with the reflection of light and whatever, I will usually just outline where I'm gonna make the cuts with a black marker. So that's what I'm doing here. It'll be easier for me to follow this line without having to turn the body all sorts of different ways so I can see the indentation in the plastic. And I don't have a steady hand, so if I can do this, you can do this. One thing I try to do to keep my hand steady is keep one finger kind of like anchored onto the body. So this way the marker isn't just floating around in the air. Okay, so for the straight lines, like the bottom of the bumper and the sides, what I like to do is lay a piece of tape down because the tape is pretty straight. So I will use the tape as my guide. for the straight lines. That way I know to cut right at the right at the tape mark. there. My biggest challenge has always been the wheel arches, but obviously because they're curved and I, like I said, I don't have a steady hand, so And also, one side doesn't have to be precisely symmetrical to the other, mind you, because you're not going to, you can't see both sides at the same time. So, <laughs> so if you're off just a little bit on one side, don't, don't, don't fret about it because, like I said, you can't see the left and the right side both at the same time.
trying to do this while uh, being cognizant of the camera, otherwise I'd be putting this on my lap. go. Good luck to me when it comes to the arches, but now that we're ready to cut, most important, this blade that you see here, I don't care if you don't think you've ever used it or if it's, you still think it's sharp, whatever. Um, this is my biggest suggestion. Take that blade and if you think you can reuse it or it's still sharp, whatever, put it aside put a new blade on because you want to score this nicely and if you have a dull blade or a blade that isn't fully sharp it's not going to score it real well because what we're going to do is we're going to score um, where the marks are and then we're going to break the plastic off of this where the scores are so Get this blade in here real quick. And make sure it's tight. Okay, so let's start. So I'm gonna start scoring. I'm gonna start scoring right here and I'm just gonna go straight across using the tape as my guide, okay? Now, some people are pretty damn good at this and they just won't let go of the knife and then just flow right through it. Um, I'm sorry, but I am not that good. <laughs> so, let's do this. This, you're gonna probably be laughing your ass off at me, but hey, as long as it gets the job done, right? Get this side done. Now we'll work on the other side here. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and take out the whole bottom piece as well and I'll do the arches last. Okay, so now that we've got the score in, basically what you do is you can just crack the plastic. So I like to start, I don't like to just crack it just like that. So I like to cut into it just a little bit. Okay. And then 
you bend it just along the score that you made. And like I said, you, and you didn't have to do a really deep score, just a light one. See how nice and easy that pops off like that. So basically, we're just gonna be cutting little pieces all along the way. Getting close to where we've scored it and then just breaking off little pieces at a time. Like I said, some of the experts, they can, they're rad, they're badass. I watch their videos and it's just amazing how controlled they are. Um, and they can just do this quickly and all in one shot. It's just mind boggling. But we're not that experienced, but we can still get the job done and so can you. I'm telling you, if I can do this, you can do this. You just have to be slow and careful, okay? very well here so just gonna have the scissors help us out I think Scored that. Okay, this is a little loose. I'm going to put this on my lap real quick. Okay. Must have missed that one. just there just to help guide the knife and outside of the arches you can see how easy that was and how nice that turned out and then you can clean anything else up with sandpaper or a file or a little drum a um, little drum on your Dremel and uh, and smoothie it out so now we have the arches and that is my Achilles heel. 
the arches. So I'm just cleaning this up a little bit here. These scissors, they're made for the body, for cutting bodies. Sharp as heck and extremely useful because they have a nice curve to them. So you can actually, I can actually cut the arches with this um, instead of the knife. Um, and maybe that's what I might do because if it was a tight curve, it'd be maybe a little bit different, but I think I can just nibble at it away and that way I don't have to worry about missing with the knife. So maybe, maybe I'll do that. And I can always leave a little bit of jagged edges because I can, like I said, you can always clean this up with a file or sandpaper or a drum attachment on the Dremel, sanding drum. there's a little bit of cleanup, a little bit of sanding down that I'll need to do here on these little edges where it's just a little bit square, but, but I think you can see, you know, that, uh, you know, that the scissors did the, did the, did the work pretty well. So maybe we'll just stick with that because I don't trust myself with the knife and my unsteady hands. All right. That was a lot easier. Look at that. That came out beautiful. Okay, do the other side now. is it this came out looking pretty nice um, the only thing I need to do is take a sanding drum and just round out a few of these little tiny corners that I undercut um, no big deal uh, the lines came out straight you know everything is looking beautiful and uh, I'm just impressed at myself that I didn't mess this up <laughs> listen I used to be intimidated with cutting out bodies and I would suggest you know find a used body you know one that's already painted if you want it doesn't matter but practice on a used body first you're going to find how easy it really is 
um, and there's you know nothing to be intimidated by. Um, the main thing is having the right tools, right? Just like anything else. Um, definitely a sharp blade on your knife. Like I say, I started out with a brand new blade. Always do that with a body. Always a brand new blade. They're not that expensive replacement blades. I like to outline the body out. Just make sure that you have the clear sheet, you know, on it. Um, otherwise use water, a water-based marker that you can uh, clean off afterwards. But so a marker for me to outline because it's really hard to keep your eye on the indentations in the body mold um, because of the reflection of the light. So this is a useful thing. And I can't stress enough um, a body, you know, a scissors to cut out the bodies, um, especially because they have that curved, you know, um, that curved end here. And you saw how I cut my wheel arches. I didn't use a knife. You know, the pros and the experts and the experienced guys will use a knife and that's great. Um, they're, they're good at it. I'm not. But this makes me look somewhat good at it. <laughs> so these are the three things, you know, um, maybe tape. I like to lay the tape to make the line straight um, rather than trying to draw them straight. But anyways, nothing to be intimidated by. I hope you learned something from my mistakes and, uh, you know, uh, go at it. I think of the next video I'm going to make is a video of me fitting this on the chassis, which isn't an issue. It's just, you know, there's a front body post here. So I'll put the hole there, fit it over the chassis and mark that. And then there's, this is for the AYK buggy, um, the, five, six, the 566B. Um, and it doesn't have body mounts on the back. It has a roll bar that has a slide all the way through. So it's really important that you get this mounted right. Um, otherwise, you're going to have a big hole in the back here. Um, don't know why AYK didn't put two nice, you know, body mounts in the back for this truck, but you know, it, it is what it is. Uh, I think that uh, the next video also, so I'll mount it on the body, but I think I'll also show you how I go about painting. That was the other thing that intimidated me is painting these things because you're painting from the inside um, and it's a reverse process. but. The only, there's very basic things you need to just remember there. I mean, you just mask off what you don't want, you know, painted on the layer that you're painting and just make sure that you do your dark colors first, because um, if you do light colors first, the dark colors that overlap, it will change that uh, tint. So anyways, that's for another video. In the meantime, like I say, uh, hope you learned something here. If anything, you, you learned that you shouldn't be intimidated in cutting out bodies. Uh, lots of videos, wonderful videos online from experts and experienced people. Um, but here you have one from someone that's inexperienced. Um, I don't do this all that often. And as you can see, it turned out relatively well. So with that, have fun. Enjoy life. You only live once.